In this section you're asked to do a lot of problems where you're given a mathematical statement and then you're asked to select all of the English statements that go along with it. Now my suggestion as a strategy for these types of problems is to not start up here with the mathematical statement but go through each of the English phrases and turn them all, all five of them, into mathematical statements and then once you've done that, see which ones match up with the expression given. And so um, let's take a look here at this first, uh, this, this first option. It says the opposite of the absolute value of negative 84 minus 11. Okay, so I see the keyword minus here. And as we talked about in the last video, minus is a situation where you keep the exact order that the numbers are given in. So I'm going to put my, my minus symbol right here. Okay, let's see what comes before the minus symbol. The opposite of, okay, the word opposite means I'm going to put a negative. The opposite of the absolute value of, okay, so I'm taking the absolute value of something. Negative 84, okay, so I'm taking the absolute value of negative 84. Minus 11, so, okay. And you notice this is the exact same expression as that is. So I'm going to check this box. And this is a valid English phrase to represent this expression. Let's look at this next one. The difference of the opposite of the absolute value of negative 84 and 11. Again, when you see the difference of, that indicates subtraction, and it also indicates um, that you are going to keep things in the exact order they're given. So I will have a minus sign here. The opposite of, okay, there's the opposite of the absolute value of negative 84, okay, and 11. And look at that. Same thing again, same as the expression up there. So this is also a valid way of expressing that statement. The opposite of negative 84 minus 11. Again, we have minus, so we get to keep things in the order that we see them in. So I'll have a minus. The opposite of negative 84. Okay, so if you take the opposite of a negative, you better put that negative in parentheses. Minus 11. Now this is very close to being what we have up here, but what we're missing is the absolute value piece. This is These are absolute value bars. These are parentheses. And so this is not the same statement as that. So we're going to leave that box unchecked. 11 taken away from. Okay, remember taken away from is one of those where we have to switch the order. So 11 is going to come after the minus sign, and all this is going to come before. So I'll put a minus over here. I'll put the 11 afterward, and now let's see what this says. The opposite of, the opposite of, the absolute value of negative 84. So there it is again. That's our expression. So I'll check this box. And then finally, negative 11 subtracted from the opposite of the absolute value of negative 84. Okay, so subtracted from is one where once again we have to flip-flop the order that they give us the numbers in. So let me put the minus sign here. I'll put all this stuff in front of the minus sign. The opposite of the absolute value of negative 84. So far so good. But what does it say? We're subtracting that, uh, we're taking negative 11 subtracted from. Well, that's negative 11, putting that in parentheses. So of course this is not the same because we're subtracting positive 11 up here, but here we're subtracting negative 11. So we do not check that box. Now finally, let's go ahead and simplify this. One really important note to make is that when you have something like we had up in this interpretation, 
the opposite of negative 84 with parentheses around it, that becomes 84, right? Because the opposite of negative 84 is 84. Please do not try to do a similar simplification when you have absolute value bars. When you have absolute value bars, you must take the absolute value of the number before applying any negatives. So I am going to take the absolute value of negative 84, which I know is 84, but then everything outside the absolute value needs to come down. So that negative comes down, this minus comes down, and the 11 comes down. And now we apply our rules for subtracting integers. I'm going to do the cross the line change the sign method. So here's my subtraction sign. I will cross the line change the sign. And so that gives me negative 84 plus negative 11. I have two uh, two negative numbers so I'm going to add 84 and 11 and of course this is going to be a negative 95 and I've kind of run out of room here so I apologize for my running out of room but the answer is going to be negative 95 because both of those numbers are negative.